Good day everyone, I am RGB Salinas and I am here to discuss to you the court dimension of table tennis. So let's go! The table should have a rectangular surface with 152.5 cm in width and 274 cm in length. It should be supported to ensure that its upper surface, also known as the playing surface, would lie in a horizontal plane of about 76 cm above the floor. The net is the one that divides the opponent and the player's side. It is light in texture and stretched across center of the table and attached to the outside by vertical standards. The height of the net should be 15.25 cm above the table. Table Tennis Ball Table tennis balls must have a diameter of 40 mm and weigh 2.7 grams. Table tennis balls are made out of unique plastic-like material called celluloid. Table Tennis Paddle The paddles used in table tennis are used to strike the ball onto your opponent's side of the table. Paddles must be made at least 85% wood but can also include some carbon fiber in their design. On both sides of the paddle is a rubber surface that comes into contact with the ball. These are called rubbers. In this table tennis grip, try to hold the bat in a way that you are shaking hands. Hold the handle with three fingers, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Penhold grip, the index finger and thumb are curled around the edge of the paddle to form a C shape and relax on one side of the rubber. The other three fingers act as support on the other side of the rubber. It is much like you are holding a pen. This grip is mainly popular with Asian player. A proper stance is one of the basic skills in table tennis, which is very important to maintain your balance during stroke making. The ready position is the position where you feel comfortable standing to cover the playing area. To start a forehand drive, keep your legs slightly apart from your shoulder. As the ball approaches, move your rocket upward and forward. After striking the ball, follow the bat up to the eye position. The backhand drive is not as powerful a stroke as the forehand drive, but is a must-learn technique for the beginner. It helps you control the shots and continue the rally from your backhand portion. It also helps you go for advanced strokes like a backhand loop, backhand smash, and backhand flick. You must know the basic surface rules of the table tennis. Stand behind the end of the table. You can stand in any position to serve. You should take the ball in the open palm of your non-playing hand.